What are you doing here? Oh, I came to ask you what would like me to prepare for you. Oh, as what again? My father's maid. I mean, you should have told me that's who you are to him. Tasha, please, can we not do this? Can we not do this? Well, if you don't want us to do this, just turn around and get out from my room. I don't want to see your ugly face. You just made me wake up to seeing your face. Just, just go. Go ask my father what he wants to eat for breakfast. I'm sure he's the one you're engaged to. I don't want to in the morning. Oh my God. I can't believe I just woke up to that ugly face. Girlfriend, that is the kind of girl my father is engaged to marry. Can you believe? I know of her. Una house help. I am sure she bewitched your dad in dumping me and getting her engaged. Well, guess what? I am back now. So whatever voodoo she used on my father, I will make sure it leaves his eyes. Jesus Christ! Your father must really like them young. He's enjoying, you know, but I'm happy for oh, him. Oh, please. Seriously? Did, you, did those words just come out from your mouth? Like you're happy for him? Are you, can't you see that this lady is there for the money? Huh? You are right, you know. Nowadays, you hardly see a young girl who loves an older man, if not for the money. Exactly my point. Now you're seeing exactly what I am seeing. I am just mad at two things, though. Why would my father even consider remarrying? Why? And then, why that lady, that low class, that girl that doesn't even have a, a surname, she has no financial background, she has nothing, she is so dumb. The thought of having a dumb lady as a st stepmother? God forbid. Jesus. No, I would make sure it never happens. I would frustrate her life until she dies in that house. Yes, I will. I will. Natasha, for goodness sake, I'm your father. I'm an adult. Stop telling me what to do. I grieved many years over the loss of your mom. At the time, I, I was going to take my life because it hurt me so much. What? And here you're talking rubbish. Daddy, if it hurts you that much, why did you choose to remarry? Huh? Why don't you remain single for the rest of your life? Yes. Remain single? Yes. And unhappy? Look at you. Can you listen to yourself? Look. I needed strength. I don't know what gave me that strength. To, to be alive for you until you came back. Now you come back, you're talking as if you, you're not reasoning. Tina came into the picture and gave me joy. She gave me peace. She's the reason I am alive for you to see me today. Okay, fine daddy. I thank her very much for taking care of you while I was away. Well, I am back now. What are you still doing with her? I'm already engaged to her. An engagement that you didn't seek my permission or blessing for. I'm not explaining anything to you because you won't understand. Tina is going to be your stepmom and she stays and that's it. That will never, ever, ever, ever happen, daddy. That will happen over my dead body. That will happen over my dead body. I will deal with her. I will frustrate her until she runs out of this house mad. Who is she to challenge her father's decision to marry you? Does she know what that old man went through and how you came to become his fiancée? She just came out from the moon and she's talking rubbish. Sister, could you believe that? I've tried everything possible to make Tasha see me as her friend. Well, she's not welcoming. Then ignore her. Look, if you want me to come over to that house and help you deal with her, I'll follow you home immediately. Sister, no, 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 no. It hasn't gotten to that yet. Please. Please. I need to help you remind her that she should either respect you as her future stepmother or she leave the house for you. Sister, I know. But you know me too well. I'm not a troublesome person. <laughs> so, Tasha and her business, as long as she loves me, I'm okay with that. <laughs> There's no need for drama in my life. Tina, you know I don't take rubbish. I know. <laughs> Sister, what of the person we are waiting for now? She will come. She will come, please. I'm not just in a good mood now. This is getting too much. Calm down, okay? <sighs>
I'm coming. Ignatius, come here. What's the meaning of this? Why am I things outside? Ignatius, I'm talking to you. Madam, I'm talking to you. Madam, I'm talking to you. Ignatius, Madam. Do I look like I'm joking? No, madam. I ask again, why are my things outside? Madam, please calm down your temperature. Now, oh God, daughter, carry your things, keep outside. Tasha did this? Yes, madam. Anyway, take. Take my things inside. Please. Madam, she locked the door, carried the key, come on. She locked this door? Yes, madam. Okay. Daddy, I have no idea what your concubine here is talking about. She's my wife to be, not my concubine, for Christ's sake. Well, I chose not to call her that. She returned home? Found her things outside and you're denying knowledge of who threw them out? I do not know how her things got outside. Tasha, how? why are you lying? Excuse you. Did you just call me Tasha? My name is Natasha, all right? Only people close to my heart call me Tasha and you are not one of them. Natasha, the gate man said you threw my things out, so why are you lying? Well, the gate man is the one lying because I didn't throw your things out. The gate man is dumb and stupid. So, why not lie? her things just flew out from the windows outside. I have a headache. I can't deal with this right now. I'm so fragile. Tasha, don't you walk out on me. I'm still talking. I'm sorry, Daddy. I'm sorry. You and I know the food will taste as good as you taste, you know. <laughs> today, not today. Uh, I am so sorry. It took me so much time to get this together because I was trying to make my daddy something tasty. He will absolutely love it. My face just made something, and uh, I'm not complaining. Oh, come on, Daddy. How can you even complain when your taste bud have been made to eat rubbish every single day? This is good for you. Natasha. Daddy. She cooks well, and I, I'm going to eat her food. Ah. Um, I'm so sorry, darling. You would have to go away with this bullshit you made for my daddy. It's not good for him. I promise this is really nice. Sure. What madness is this? Then you call it that name. Come on, go ahead and apologize to her. Apologize to her. <laughs> I should apologize to a maid. Daddy! No, I won't do such a thing. It's a horrible idea. Tasha, I really don't wish to fight you. I don't want to fight you for the respect I have for your dad. Please. No, the question should be, can you fight me, darling? Huh? Can you fight me? Because I know for a fact that I am a better match. Tasha, all I'm trying to say is that I do not wish to fight you. All I'm asking you for is peace. Peace? 
Okay. Let's 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 make it truce. If you want peace, leave my father's house. Yes. Okay, I get the fact that he was lonely and then you were around to keep him company, but I am back now. Natasha, your dad willfully engaged me. I didn't force myself into his life. He said I was what he wanted, and I did love your father. Please. Ah. Well, I know exactly what I want for my father, and it's not you, darling. I don't want you for him. I want you gone. All right? I don't need you in his life. I am here now. Just go. If you want peace, then leave my father alone. Just yes. leave my room, please. please. We can sort this out. I'm just asking you for peace. Look, just go, okay? I don't want to sort nothing out with you. If you're not ready to leave my father, then just get out, okay? Get out! You said you wanted peace! I thought you said you wanted peace! I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you. Look, I'm talking. Oh. using any of this car to wherever you're going to. Excuse me? You heard me. Tasha, please. I don't have time for this right now. I have an important place I need to be. Please give hand back the card keys. Oh, in that case, my advice will be that you get your phone and call your cabman real quick so you get to where you're going to because this car, mm -mm, you ain't gonna be using it, darling. Ignatius! Ignatius, Mara. go inside and get me the other package. Okay, Mara. My friend, will you get back to your duty post this minute? Idiot. Where do you think you're going? Tasha, what is going on with you? Why are you making trouble? I'm sorry. Okay, I apologize. I didn't make myself very clear over there. What I meant was that you are not allowed to drive any of my father's car any longer. And who the hell are you to say that? Who the hell I am? Did you just say who I am? Well, let me tell you, I am the only successor to the owner of this mansion, something you would never, ever have in your entire life. I have a surname, all right? Do you have a surname? Well, I am also the only daughter of the owner of this car that you will never, ever be driving anymore. Who are you? No. Do not say a word because I know exactly who you are. You are a gold digger. You are a maid. You are a nobody and you do not deserve to drive my father's car. Oh, hold on. This? You think because of this metal on your finger, you think you have some place? You are special? Darling, you are not. All right? Tasha, you know for a fact that I'm duly engaged to your father. <laughs> we are just waiting for our traditional marriage. <laughs> the earlier you get that and respect it, the better for you. Uh, you what are you going to do? Respect who? Respect you? A maid? You are a maid! I better tell you who you are! I am not going to respect you. I will... I'm disappointed in you. Darling, I told you I don't want to have any issue between you and your daughter. I don't want to fight with her. Now listen, when I say play child, what I meant was be her friend, be close to her, understand her, not fight with her. That was the dishonor to my person. But I've been doing that. That's why I just causing problem in this house. Wait, I hear no more of it. No more. You disrespected me. You dishonored me by fighting with her. You shouldn't have done that. No. It's not acceptable. Darling, I'm sorry. Darling, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Darling. I'm sorry. Please. Please believe me. I didn't fight her. Please. I didn't fight your daughter. Please. 
believe me. I know it will come to this. I knew it. You see, I am so worried. You see, I am gradually losing the, my, my father's love for me. I, I am losing him. I am just so helpless. What were you expecting? That he would choose you over his young wife? I'm never going to let that happen. I will not let that happen. Not under my watch. I will make sure I send that woman out of this house. You know what? Ever since my father started being with this lady, I, I suddenly have lost all my attention and love for Mimi. He's giving everything to her. You know when you both were together, things were a bit different. Lucy, I'm just so miserable. That must not be ordinary. Something must be backing her up. You know, whatever it is, I just want you to come back to my father's life. I, I, I feel things will get better if you, if you guys are back together. What do you want me to say? He is married. Forget about being engaged. You know what? I promise you, as soon as my dad gets back from this trip to Ghana, I will make sure you guys are back together. I, I will do everything to make sure you guys are back together. Please, just, just be on my side, okay? Okay. All right, girl. Babe. Yeah. Tasha has assured me that she's going to get me back with her father. Really? Wow, that's good. You know what? You have to stick to her. Try do anything you can do to make her convince her father to take you back. Don't worry about anything. I have it under control. You know, Tasha is a spoiled daddy's girl. She's very easy to manipulate. Okay then. But don't forget the plan. Once you get in there, try as much as you can to execute the plan we already have in motion. That will be the first thing I'll do once I get back there. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh-huh. Natasha, what are you doing there? What are you doing on my bed? Are you okay? No, like... Did you just open that gutter mouth of yours to call this your bed? What? <laughs> the last time I checked, this is my father's house. This is my father's bed. And the last woman he shared this bed is, was my late mother. So, who are you again? Who are you again? Huh? Natasha, you know very well that your father engaged me, which earned me a place on this bed. <laughs> You are so stupid! Did you just say he engaged you? Look at Taki! Huh? You should be ashamed of yourself! That man is old enough to be your father! You are just so stupid! This is my father's bed. And I'm staying. Oh, Natasha, why are you embarrassing me? Because this is your father's house. You know, this is very unfair. Just shut up! Shut up your gutter mouth! Shut up your dirty mouth! What are you going to do about it even, huh? You're just gonna cry. You know what? Turn around, go to your room and cry like a baby and be helpless! You have to leave my father's house. I am sick of you. I hate your ugly face, look at that, hey? Oh, oh, oh. You're gonna cry some more? I'm gonna hand you some handkerchief, but I have not. Just get out! Get out! Don't take me! I hate you! You're so dumb! You're so stupid! What, what, what the hell? Huh?
after. Yeah, so, he traveled for the weekend. He said he's going to stay for the weekend and then we'll be coming back on Monday. One of the reasons I invited you to keep me company. But you know it's not true. I know you called me here for me to fight a battle with you. Stop, please. Though. Don't cause problems in this house. Don't cause trouble. I only invited you here so we can spend the weekend as sisters. Okay. But I hope you have food in this house because I'm very, very hungry. Food? Yes. Sister? Ha! I was hoping that when you want me after this drink, now you just enter the kitchen and prepare that your delicious vegetables. Madam, please. I came to your house. You didn't offer me food. You expect me to enter your kitchen and prepare food. Yes, now. Nah. Please shut up. Sister, I've missed your food. Uh -huh. hmm. Okay, sister. Let's make a deal. If I go inside the kitchen and then I'll get you something to eat, uh -huh. you cook the whole weekend. Better say yes, you you starve. Well, hello back at you, ill manner stranger. Who are you and what are you doing in my father's house? Hmm? Do you know what? I've heard so much about you. So much that deafened my ears. I didn't know you are this worst in real life. Eh? And do you know what? You were a fool. An ingrate. You must got nerve. Sitting in my father's expensive couch and calling me names. You don't even know who I am. I don't even know who you are. Who the hell are you and what are you doing here? Who are you? Who are you? Tell me this minute before I throw you out. And you can't send me out of this house. In fact, they never got who go send me out of this house. You know fit. Hmm. Look how disgusting you are. You're just stinking all over the place. Who are you? What's going on here? Sis! Who's this girl that doesn't have any single respect for someone? Uh, oh my god. Oh, I get it now. You, Tina, you brought this older local Turkey to come disrespect me in my father's house? How dare you, huh? Did you just call me old? Did you just call me old? What are you gonna do? Did you just raise your hands? You were gonna hit me? Well, go ahead and do it. And I'll hit you. I don't get Go ahead and do it. Go see me now. I will hit you. Please. I'll just make you. Please. Make you. I am just going to call my father. That's because what you're good at, Momo. That's what you're good at. Report your break. I'm going to report to God. Eat your. Nancy, what is wrong? Oh. What do you want me to do? I did not invite you to this house to cause trouble. If you're not careful, this is her father's house, and this girl is ready to send you out of here. Let me face down my own way. Please. This is what you want me to do. <clears throat> um, I need to make use of this entire space so you both should just get up and leave. Hello? I'm talking to humans, right? I said I need to make use of the entire space so you both should get up and leave. Tasha, what is wrong with you? What? What exactly is your problem? Huh? This whole space could contain four to eight people. Why can't you sit anywhere else? Look, you're talking. Are you talking to me? No, are you talking back from me? I said I want to make use of the entire space, period. Sweetheart, just ignore him. What? Just ignore her. I am right here. So, I'm a dog, 
around, right? I'm back in, so she should, she should just ignore me. Is that what you're saying? My dear, there's this business my friend was telling me about in Asaba mm. that we should start up in our Sasha, you can't be having my juice on my peanut. I'm the road. I hear she disturbed you once again in this house. You know me, trust me. I will find her and I will seriously deal with her. You're not dealing with anybody. Please, let me drop you off, sister. Eh, I don't want you and your troubles again. Let's be going. Sis, you. I'm only telling you to take care of yourself and be careful, okay? I will take care of myself. Please do. Eh, uh, let's go. Oh. Your duty post to go to. Madam, she, she sent me out and locked the gate home. Who sent you out? Madam Oka daughter. She sent me out of our house and locked the gate. Tasha did what? Why would she lock the gate? In fact, where the hell did she go to? Eh, Madam, she no go hell. Oka daughter no go hell. Now this gate she locked. Drive, come on, carry key, go this way. She no go hell. Now this way she go. Tasha had the mind to lock this gate. For what reason? Madam, I don't know. Because the mind won't send me out of our house. I'm part of this house. Madam, no worry, eh? No worry. Get man, lock our gate because I am part of this house. Madam, no worry, I am with you. The Bible says I am with thee always. John 3:16. Sorry, madam, calm down your temperature, okay? I am standing here. She didn't say that that time we only me there. Now she pushed me, come on. Thank God my madam is back. Madam, you are welcome. Madam, you are welcome. Let her come again. She will know that two heads are better than one. Tasha is not answering my call. She will answer her call again. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you are watching. You would have waited for your dad to return. Instead of locking her and the gate man out of the house. Well, I do not buy that idea, darling. I needed to prove to that girl that the house belongs to I and my father, not her. Your dad would definitely be mad at you if he returns to see his wife outside. Do I look like I care? Well, I don't, darling. I don't. <laughs> uh, Tasha. Yes. I know you seldom listen to my advice. Yes. But you see this one that you've done is going to cause serious issue with your dad irreconcilable issues. Please, go and let her in. Nope. That is a terrible idea. That is such a terrible advice coming from you. I am disappointed. You know what? When my dad comes back and finds her outside, I'll simply tell him exactly why I had to lock the gates. Period. Yes.
I could have swore I locked this gate when I was headed out. How did you get in? I said I am certain I am sure I locked the gate when I was going out earlier. How did you get in? Okay. Yes, yes. Lock gate. Yes. Okay. Open it and get in. How? Okay. Okay, I'm going to get in. 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 Okay, I understand. I don't understand. I understand. Okay. Yes. So how? Madam broke the keys. Who is your madam? Okas, why? Who, 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 who is that? Okay. She, she, what? Madam, don't worry. She don't buy new key now. Nice to be home. Yes. <laughs> yes, Daddy, I miss you so much too. Yeah, I got some goodies for you and, uh, you know, my wife to be. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Oh my God! Oh my God, Daddy! I didn't say it to you. Say what? Daddy, I need you to sit down because I'm about to drop a bomb that could affect your heart. So I, I need you to sit, Daddy. What bomb? Come on, go ahead. I'm listening. Are you sure you can take this new stand in? Immediately you left for your trip. Some strange man came here and took her. What are you saying? Exactly what you heard. Some strange man came here and took her with him. It was just so traumatic. Star Wars has not been answering my calls. Oh. And you two have not been taking my calls. Because the strange man snatched my phone too. It was such a horrible experience. I have been so traumatized, Daddy. It's been so horrible. Thank God you're back now. Scary. You're welcome, Daddy. Let me get you something to drink. Don't miss this opportunity. I'm not gonna mess it up. I promise. I'm going to deliver a clean and perfect job because it is important to me as well. So. Good. Tomorrow by 5 p.m. Go to Chief's house and play the show to them. Consider it done. <laughs> Unbelievable. Natasha, tell me this is not true. Teddy, it's Tasha, okay? Answer me! Tell me you didn't have to lock her up for doing nothing. Was that what you told him? Oh, Daddy, this woman right here came with her sister when you traveled and both of them teamed up to make my life miserable. They inflicted so much pain on me. And you did what you had to do, bringing shame and dishonor to my name. What is wrong with you? Daddy, you ain't even listening to my side of the story. What side? What side, I'd ask you? The side where I was frustrated, humiliated, disrespected, confused. Do you know what? I am so stressed. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. Come back here. I cannot. Come back here. My sister came over for the weekend. Of course, She has no right even at that to do what she did. Me. 
What is it? What, what is this? Knowing my medical state. What happened to the food? Do you want Pepe? Pepe? Come on, stop this nonsense! I swear, I didn't do it. I didn't add too much pepper to your food. What do you mean? Oh God. Oh, they have sent you. Okay. Darling, where are you going to? I can make another one. You've been avoiding me. What did I do? I'm talking to you. Daddy, just go. Leave me alone. You're shouting at me. Why won't I shout at you? When you have chosen a total stranger over your only child. You expect me not to shout. It's your life. Fine, you can live it however you choose to live it. I just feel so bad my mom is no longer here. Do you think I don't feel that too? No, you don't feel it. You don't feel it at all. That is true. I loved your mom. With all my heart. And I mourned her many years. Tina came into my life and brought joy, happiness, and peace. Even your mother, wherever she is now, would be proud of what I have done. No! That is not what my mother would have wanted. You did what is best for you, not what my mother would have wanted. My mother would never have wanted for you to, 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 to be in the arms of another woman. Daddy, please just go away. Leave me alone, okay? Leave me alone. I'm alone in this world by myself. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it was going to happen. Now she's almost succeeded in taking away everything from you. Soon Chief is going to send you out of his house. Sister, how can you say such a thing to me? How? Isn't that what you want? Isn't it? How will I want such a thing? But I told you that girl was out to send you out of that house. But you thought I was just hitting on her. Eh? Tasha. Now you've seen it! Tasha, Tasha, what did I ever do to her? What exactly is Tasha's problem? Sister, but you know what? I don't mind because all I know is that Chief Amako loves me and that is it. She has already turned her father against you if you don't know. Sister, Chief hates please, you now! Let's go. Instead of you to help me, they are, they are, they are telling me to. I don't know what else to tell you. I don't just know what else to do. I'm tired. Will you marry your father? Will you marry your father? Why are you yelling at me? It is me you're yelling at? Hello? My child? Natasha, you have been doing everything you could to discredit me in front of your father. Yet you claim you love him. Of course I love my father. I love him very much. No, you don't. Because if you do, you won't deny him of his happiness. Uh -huh. So his happiness is worth you? Huh? Yes, and I'm sure of that. Funny. He was such a clown. <laughs> Natasha, I knew you were the one that added pepper to his food. Keep on doing lame things in this house. God is watching you and he will judge you. Amen. Excuse me. Wait, come, come. Are you you gonna walk out of me now? Hey! <laughs> I am only getting started. By the time I'm done with you, you will run out of this house. Silly girl. No good talking. This 
man saying they find you. Can I help you? So, this is where you'll be hiding. Sorry, do I know you? Oh, really? You don't know me? But you no longer recall? Eh? So this is it? This is what? Ah, fine. Now, where is my child? Look, if you don't tell me what you are doing in my house, I'm going to call the police on you. Oh, you want to call the police on me, right? No, 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 no. You want to call the police on me instead of you to tell me why you run away with my unborn child? Huh? Who are you? I, I don't understand what you are saying. What child? I said I don't know who you are. And I said I'm, I'm telling you that I'm going to call the police on you if you don't leave this house now. Now, let me tell you. I don't want any issue with you. Just go in there, give me my child, and let me leave. <laughs> I said I'm going to call the police on you, and this is the last one, and leave my house. And I said go in there. Oh. What's going on here? Thank Darling, God. thank God you're here. Oh. Can you imagine this madman accusing me of being with some born child? What is going on here? I believe you're who this whore is living with. Excuse me? How dare you call my wife a whore? Your wife? <laughs> you call this your wife? You don't know her. No, it's obvious you don't know her because if you do, you won't be calling this cheap, shameless whore your wife. She abandoned me, ran away after I got married with her. Hey, he's lying. I don't know who this madman is. Me a madman? So this is who you are, eh? You run away with my unborn child? And you are here telling me, now let me tell you. I don't want anything from you. Just go in there, give me my child. Whether you or she, give me my child, let me go. Babe, don't believe what this madman is saying. I don't even know your name, I've never seen you before. Why are you accusing me of this? You are very wicked. Tina, you are very wicked. Oh, you don't know me, eh? Now let me warn you. I'm just giving you just two days. Two days. Is it that you give me my child or you have it to face? Good day, sir. You were married? You have a child? Darling, you need to believe me. I don't know who that madman is. I've never had a child for anybody. I've never been married to anyone. Please. Oh. Oh. Ignatius! Oh. Ignatius! Yes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Darling, please. Oh. Ignatius! Hello. The job is done. Yes. So how do I get my balance? Okay. I'm sending my details right away. Please, just set my balance now. Thank you. Where is she? happens to him, I will come for you, I will hunt you and your entire generations to come. Tasha, I don't know who that man is, please. I don't have any child. You, you were so pathetic. You were so pathetic and I hate you so much. I despise you. The sight of you disgusts me. I have always known you. I can see through 
Pedro, you, you, you do not know who that man is, yet he came here threatening and demanding for his baby, right? I have always known that you are some little devil. But my father, you blinded him with love. You, 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 yes, you did. You know what? Just pray nothing happens to my father. No. on a second thought, I am going upstairs right now. By the time I come downstairs, I do not want to see your ugly, duckling face. Just pack your things and get lost. The ball is in your courts. Please, don't miss it. Hmm? This time around, you're going to get the money. It's the short sure thing. I'll make sure I secure the bag this time around. Even if it means me becoming his chief hall. No, no. You belong to me. In fact, you're my hall. And that's how you remain. Please shut up. We're talking about money and you're here saying rubbish. Is it because I allow low life like you to be seen with me? Or even talk about seeing my undies? Mm? Did I hear you call me a low life? Anyway, I'm going to take that as an insult. But, I will let it slide. Try that one more time and you will see. Who is in this house? I am not stupid. Even the Bible says, do not use vain words on your neighbors. Genesis chapter my 1. My friend, shut up and listen. If you know what's good for you, just get out of my way. I need to see my sister now. It's like you are confused. Because there is no one that looks like your sister in this house. Go on. What do you mean? I need to see my sister, your madam. Ah. Oh, that person, she not be my madam again, in case you don't know. It's like something is wrong with you. Go in there and call my sister. I say your sister that you claim is not my madam again. That's to say she don't come out. Then how do you mean by that? Yes. What I mean is that your sister that you claim to be is no more in this household. She don't pack all her things, come on. She pack her back, in fact, including her destiny. I don't understand. You can't be serious. Eh, ah, I can't be serious. So you want me to be serious, right? Let me go and look for the seriousness so that I'll come out with it. Seriousness, hold on. Okay. Seriousness. No vessel, just hold on to me. I'm going to look for the seriousness, okay? Home, Daddy. Welcome home. Thank you. I hope she's gone. Oh, 
Yes, she's gone. Finally. Very good. Very good. Just relax, okay? Daddy, let me just go fix something for you to eat. I know you were exhausted. Uh, just hold on, Tasha. Um, really sorry for the way I have treated you over that non-entity. For not believing in what you are telling me. For making the wrong judgment. Please accept my apologies, please. Come on, Daddy. You don't need to apologize. I am your daughter and I know what's best for you. For right now, I want to go make something really nice for you. That's the smile I want from my daddy. I'll be right back. Thank you. <laughs> I can't believe a time will come when I will tell you I told you so. I can't believe a time will come. I underestimated Natasha. I was just being soft and kind hearted for her to see me as her father's fiance. I know that bitch from day one. I know her type. <laughs> and it's so sad. There's no way her father will ever listen to you. No way. <laughs> Stop finished. It's okay. It's okay. Alright? Just let it go. It's okay. <laughs> This is good. Yes. So good. Yes, Daddy. You know how I love to make special meals for you. I've missed your cooking. Just like your mother's. Thank you for taking care of me. Come on, Daddy. If I don't take care of you, who will? I love you to bits. <laughs> and I love you, my little angel. Okay, Daddy. Look at me. I am no longer little. I am a grown-ass woman. Well, as a father, you'll always be little in my eyes. Mm. Well, you see, I always see your mother in everything you do. You have her nose and you have her ears. <laughs> but you have my mouth. <laughs> and what again? You have my nose. <laughs> yes, definitely. Your nose. Mm. Oh. It's. Are you sure I stay in one year? In Jamaica. It's well made. Madam, Madam, I'm very, very sorry. I cannot allow you to come inside this compound. Ignatius. Yes? It's me, Tina. Remember our closeness. I know he's around. Let me see him, please. Hi. Madam, you're making me very, very emotional. You're taking me back to the days we used to work together. Yes, I understand. But for the sake of my children in the village that I'm taking care of, I cannot open this gate for you. If I allowed you come in, I will lose my work. What is going on here? Hiya. Eh? Madam, madam, nothing is going on. I know I lied, I'm coming inside. Now here she stand. She tell me, say she want to see your car. I tell her, say no, you cannot see your car. Not even a step. I promise. What are you doing here? Okay. Tasha, please. I need to see my love. I heard it's back from the hospital. Please. 
Just listen to yourself. Ain't you ashamed of yourself? Huh? Don't you have an iota of shame left inside of you? You're just standing here and just saying you want to see your love. You must think you still have some kind of relationship with my father. You think you're still engaged to him? You need to have your head checked. Turn around and get out from here. Tasha, I know what you did. But it's fine. But just know that what goes around surely comes around someday. Lock her talkie. I say turn around and go. My friend, get in and lock the gate this minute. Huh? Gate. Come in. Okay. Right. Then you close the gate like this. Okay. Yes. Well, now you know exactly how to act once my father walk right in here. You must act sincere. You must apologize from the depth of your heart. Then you leave the rest for me. I would win him over to you. Joke aside, I'm deeply sorry for putting you. I regret it every single day. Please just help me this time. And I promise I won't mess it up. You better not. Yes, darling, you better not. Opportunities like this do not come all the time. Look at you. You're having a second chance, so you better fix it right. Or else you go back to your wretched life. I came to see you. I heard you are back from the hospital. But your daughter wouldn't let me in. Why would she let you in? <laughs> Tina, what do you want from me? Haven't you done enough harm? What really do you want from me? <gasps> My love, please believe me. <laughs> Shut up. Don't you ever call me your love. Whatever it is. <laughs> now listen. I have moved on. You move on. I don't want to see you within the 200 presence of this premises. Else, I'll deal with you. My love, please believe me. I've never seen that man. I don't know him from anywhere. You have to believe me. I don't have any job. I'm so sorry about what happened. I have realized how foolish I was. Chief, please, I promise to do better if you forgive me. You know that's not gonna be possible. <laughs> I want you to leave my house this minute. D Daddy, please. I know you're very angry. You're still very mad at her. Please, 
calm down. You see, she has she's a better person now. She has turned a new leaf. Just find a place in your heart to forgive her for my sake. Please, I beg you that it please. Please. Please, Daddy. Just forgive her, please. It's just because of you. I wouldn't have forgiven you if not my daughter. Go and turn a new leaf. Become a better person. At my age, I just don't take anything. I promise to be better for us. My love, just one more chance, please. Sit. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. You are the best. 